Hey guys, this is Swordsmaster here. Hello, my name's Elle. And, um, so, uh, we're gonna take on Chapter 8X today. Um, uh, you might usually see Del doing, doing, like, streams with Riek, probably. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I'm just like I'm the I'm I'm, I'm, that, I'm that one ghost that haunts a room and never actually does anything himself, basically. <laughs> yeah. Or your or um, you'll see us on uh, my Jean streams, maybe. Yeah, uh, on occasion. I was I was on for the first one. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's also early in the morning for both of us. So, yay. Yes. And also, I'm stupid and can't count time, so I think <laughs> I've been I've been up for a bit after not really getting much sleep. So, <laughs> good job. Yep. All right. Well, uh, time to start chapter eight X. Um, right. I guess uh, just to let you know, I do read the dialogue, so yeah. I'm not Riek no who skips it. Yeah, I got I can all be read if you want. All right. Roy vowed to protect Lelina. With Burn coming full force, however, Roy's army is no equal. Therefore, he decides to try and obtain a legendary weapon. He thinks it best to obtain it before Burn manages to get their hands on it. Lelina shows them to a cave on the outskirts of Ostia, where a legendary weapon is hidden. The cave, located at the foot of a volcano, will be no small obstacle for Roy. I just love how like we we know that like like these random caves with random like freaking god sling weapons are inside these and like we're just like oh hey let's go pick up one of these. Yeah. I think that um the reason why so many people don't know about like the caves and whatnot is because um they're kept secret to the public. I mean I mean yeah probably just I don't know. <laughs> It's, it's still kind of weird, but oh well. Okay, let's see. Um, definitely bring clearing. Obviously. My, my god, a level 6 clearing by chapter 8 eggs. It's Chris. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Holy crap. Why? I just, I don't know. I'm just, I don't, I've never used clearing myself, and I've never seen anyone else use it either. Oh, well, Clarion's considered to be really good. I mean, she's on Mouth of Healer, I can, I can see why. Just like, <laughs> but usually people ditch her for, ditch her for soloing as be because of his uh, C rank and stabs. Mm. Yeah, um. Okay, uh. Deke, I need you to have this. Since there's no armored units here. We just do that. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know how many yet, but we are gonna have to fight something much, much worse as you see at the very end of the map. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Um, actually. Yeah, I might as well be the, the, the game's final boss. God knows he's the more the harder than Zebul and especially even. Or I'm sorry, I'd not say that it's close. I didn't even hear you, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, it might be hard for the audience to hear you too, probably. Yeah, I... I... I don't know. Okay, um... Just do that... Hey, you can use a killer bow. Cool. No convenient. Hmm. Uh. Alright, just double check. Um. Yeah, I got another heal staff. The reason why I brought the light brand is because, um, so I can attack the boss from far range. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. 
Is there, is there any reason? Is there any particular reason you promote a deep overwalker? Um, axes for two range. Oh, okay. okay. That's literally it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let us begin. Chapter eight, X. Yeah. But boss, an army's in the cave. What? How many of them are there? Don't know, boss. Not too many, I hope. It's strange, though. Lords of Lithia have bigger fish to fry than bandits like us. Well, what do we do? I don't expect they know much about this cave. Just lower them onto the lava and get geysers and get rid of them. And we go over to these two. Roy, this way! The legendary weapon is on the other side of this flaming crevice. Melina, are you alright? Have you already come to terms with everything? Well, maybe not just yet, but I can't afford to be in sorrow. Ostia needs me to protect it, just as it me and my father before me. I'm just glad you're alright, Lelina. Only because you're with me, Roy. What? Did you just say something? No, nothing. Let me tell you what I know about the weapon. The sword here was used by Roland himself, one of the eight legends. Roland, the first Marquis of Ostia? Exactly, he's my ancestor. This sword is called Durandal, the Blazing Blade. Durandal. The name has a strange echo to it. So, Roland used Durandal to fight the dragons during the scouring? That's how the legend goes. They also say that after the war ended, Roland returned to his home of Ostia. He raised Durandal high above his head, and the earth scorched by the flames of war suddenly blossomed with life again. Wow. That sword has quite the story to it. It's a weapon that can defeat dragons, so it must have some exceptional powers. Oh, yes. I heard that a group of bandits have has made its base here. Will the sword be alright? Might the bandits have taken Durandal? Oh, no, don't worry. Yourself about that. Only descendants of Roland know how to remove Durandal from its sheath. That's reassuring. All that's left is to rid this cave of the bandits and take Durandal. All right. Both of you, and you can do it yourselves, guys. Good lord. Hmm. <laughs> but both of you, both of them, too, assume that they can do it themselves. Yeah. I mean, man, whatever. Okay. Let's see. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can double here. Cool. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I gave him a seal sword for a reason. Yeah. Uh, I guess looking at things work over doesn't really just still keep cast here. Hmm. Um, let's see. 14, 11, 14. Okay. That's a 78. Melina. Uh, 14. Okay, goodbye, combined it's a kill, but the hit rate is kind of shaky. 14 plus 12, that's not even enough to oh, kill, that's... though. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. It might just be better off just doing Heavy and Lance go right here. Uh, oh, wait. See, no, see, another, see another, another issue is that mage, because like he's probably gonna attack uh, Rucker in two range. Yeah. Um... Okay, 12 plus... Uh, wait, they have a support though, so I it might do like one more point of damage, maybe. Eh, if not, then oh well. Hmm? I'm just looking at something. But Lance is anime for me, so I probably won't do a little more damage. Yeah. Okay. 
actually. Oh wow, it missed. <laughs> for Lilina. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. How far do you reach? Not too far, I guess. Let's see. Where's the mage? Alright, there's the mage. I'll have Clarion come over here and heal Rooker then. Alright. Yeah. You know, I think this chapter is pretty good for being in a quiet place. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's not a whole lot going on, really. Yeah. Um. Just do that. Yeah, I'm using Shanna. So what? Hey, Shanna's really good. Guys holding a steel axe. I mean, here are his stats right here. Oh, okay, that's you know, that's also fair. It's a little mediocre. Because it's more accurate. Yeah, especially with this game's RNG. I know. Ugh. Uh, again, this game is actually possible to miss. You can miss 100% hit rate. If you, if you, if you, uh, there's a glitch in the, uh, the game's like run around and RNG where it, like, um, usually, like, basically, like, uh, what, how it calculate, calculates hit rates is that it, um, Rolls two numbers between zero and ninety-nine. This game is a weird glitch where it rolls zero, uh, zero, and one, uh, from numbers between. I can't talk. Good lord. It rolls numbers between zero and one hundred, so it rolls two one hundreds in a row, which the odds of this are very, very low. It's like one in three million, so like almost like not gonna happen ever. Um, but uh, if that does happen, you actually will miss uh, one hundred percent accurate hits. Okay. <laughs> um. So it'll just miss 100. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and zero uh, percent. Uh, and zero percent uh, hits too. Like those can hit. I, I don't think so. Now it just <laughs> it's just that like uh, it's just that uh, the the weird bug well uh, makes a uh, 100 percent accurate. It's like not quite 100 percent accurate. It, it's kind of like the one. It's kind of like the one that's using six glitch in um in a uh, Pokemon Gen One. Ah, okay. Hey. I'm just trying my best here. <laughs> Roy can take hits. Well, he can dodge, so. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was. That could have been a very poor way. That could have. I forgot that one of these guys had a halberd. Here. 
I usually find this place like the best um, training place for Lilina. Yeah. It almost seems like a little like, not necessarily, I guess not necessarily designed for it, but it's like, I don't know. Like the enemies here aren't terribly difficult for Lilina. Like, 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 no, they're not terribly difficult. And, um, like, a lot of these fighters, um, I think a lot of them have, I think a lot of them have steel axes, so they get weighed yeah. down by them quite a bit. Also because, like, steel, like, also because steel weapons in this game, like, kind of suck. Yeah. Sadly. Um, that does kill. Shanna. Put Walt right there. Okay. Ah, screw it, Deke. Hat you missed. I know, like, this game is like quote unquote one RN or whatever, but um, I feel like you can still. Like reliably do dodge with one RN, yeah. just not as reliable. Well, I actually know this is the first game that enters to one. Right, I know, but it feels more like one RN to me. There we go. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it, it sure feels like one RN at times. Yeah. For can okay. I? <laughs> I, that just reminds me of the time I was playing this game myself. I like uh, screwed up, screwed up the like I lands on like chapter four, I think it was. At like I won HP accidentally, had to dodge seven cavaliers in a row. Oh, you dodged like four, ca seven cavaliers. Yeah, I, I dodged seven cavaliers in a row. It was a freaking like I'm pretty sure that like lost a few years on my life. But you know what? The the, the, the man himself did it. Who did it? Uh, uh, Lance. Ah, yeah. Um, Lance here. He's good. Good unit. Yes. Yes. Alan uh, didn't yeah. turn out very well. Yeah. So I'm just uh, stuck Alan. with Lance and Marcus. Alan, Alan is a uh, uh, very well rounded, which means like he uh, he he's a uh, more a uh, little bit more prone to getting hard these group. Uh, this guy, huh? No, I've had playthroughs where, like, I've had it's either one's good, but the other isn't. First playthrough, Lance was good. Last playthrough, Alan was good. Alan was a lot better than Lance. This playthrough, yeah. Lance, ugh. He, well, Lance is good. Um, Alan, no. <laughs> it's yeah. always one <laughs> or the other, it's not both. Okay, you go for roll. Maybe he'll double you. Oh, yes, he does. I mean, yeah, he does have a steal, though. Hmm, that's true. Which is also why he hits so hard. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, as someone who plays a lot of a lot of FPA, doing seeing an army third and damage is uh, bizarre. Because archers are weak as hell in FE8. Yep. Even with like the even though they do get a mount in that class in that game. Yeah. Okay. That was a kill for Lolina. Roy. <laughs> Roy, this is not the time to impress to, to impress uh to impress the girl life. Okay, um... Alright, and these guys got a lot eh, not too much catching up to do, I guess. Hmm, there we go. 
for a sec, I thought that was gonna hit one of them. Um, yeah, yeah, we're, 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 uh, yeah. uh, by the way, people watching home, this is basically like the gimmick of chapter. It's not very. <laughs> it doesn't do a whole lot. No, but. Still not fun if it hits. What does it do, like 10 damage to whoever uh, sits on the tile? I think so. Not quite sure. I always forget if these guys move or not. I don't remember either, you gotta be honest. Um... So, is so, this so something that kind of sucks about the, the GBA games? Even if uh, enemies don't move, they still display their, uh, their movement ranges like they do. I mean, they still do, like, they do that too in, like, Path of Radiance. And I know, that, that, was, that was just like kind of a thing that was like introduced in uh, Awakening of the Quest. Oh, if, um, yeah. Jeez, Awakening? Jeez. Yeah, I know there's yeah. like a patch in, um, uh, with a uh, little Mancer that it will actually, um, you can have it so it will show the enemy's true range, like any enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like, that's so handy. Because, I know. Like, it is very handy. Alright, um, I'm gonna do this. And then rescue you back. Maybe. Shana good. Shana good. Okay, um. I was gonna make a joke like Shauna be good or something, but not. <laughs> the words weren't coming uh, fast enough. Oh well, we can. Uh... Well, then again, Shauna is really light, so guess I'm not too surprised. All right, um, we're in range of some of the enemies. I know like a lot of people kind of crap on FE6's music. Personally, yeah. I probably like it better in like some instances than uh, FE7. <laughs> like this song. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I I think it's mostly just like the like the chapter one theme that like plays for like almost half the game. Yeah. Which um. But, like, but, like, there are some really good songs in this game, honestly. There are. Like the um, the, the like the the, the map being plays for like the last um, for the last couple maps too. But also the one that's like the chapter right before you fight things up the the one that starts playing then. Yeah. Okay, Roy, don't crit. Thank you. We need you to kill to your girlfriend. I know I say that jokingly. Now's not the time to yeah. I know I say that jokingly, but, but I do. But like, I I do think they're adorable. Yeah. I mean, they're. I yeah. mean, like, this game, like, <sighs> people also give it crap. Hmm? Okay, HP. <laughs> uh, people also give it crap nice. for it, um, basically, quote unquote, ripping off, um, Marth's games. I mean, <laughs> it's their first game without Kaga. They wanted a sort of, sort of like basis to go on. But... Yeah, I mean, I really don't, I don't mind it at all, really. Right. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't either, honestly. Honestly, I never even noticed, but then again, I, um... I mean, you, I mean, you basically got not quite Gordon, not quite Kenny, not quite Abel, not quite Jaden. Makes sense. Yeah, but, um, I never noticed that this game was, like, Marth's game, because 
I hadn't played Marth's game when I first played this game. Like, this was my third... <laughs> yeah. This was... either my third or fourth FE game. Hmm. I say third or fourth. Yeah, because, um, so I played Sacred Stones, then I played, um, Ellie Wood's game, Blazing Sword. Then I started yeah. playing this game, but then I got Awakening. So I played Awakening, beat that, then I beat this game. Okay. Oh shoot, Archer. Um... Uh... Okay, <laughs> that works too. <laughs> it just made me up. It's a lot of resistance. I mean, it's a good thing the Cavaliers showed up when they did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, no, you, you probably could have done it with the, the third one, so... I mean, <laughs> you got two of them, so... Hey. Marcus feeds the kill to Lance. Okay. It's been so like I don't know. It's I, I watched like a lot of uh, LTCs of FE6. Um, I don't know why it's this game in particular. I just like this game is interesting to LTC, I guess. Um, but I, like this is the first time in a long time I've ever seen someone take the uh, the long way around. Mmm. Yeah. Nah. Because like I said, um, this is the experience training chapter for Lolina. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool because like a, a lot of um, LTCs of FE6, um, they actually do train Lelina. Um, basically, they uh, train her in motion, like rig up, um, attack and speed on every single one of um, every single one of her level ups. Um, mm. Pretty much just for the sole reason. And I'm just uh, nuking stuff. on chapter 22 for front end spaces away. <laughs> okay, so they train her because of her high magic. Is that it? Um, yeah, pr pretty much. Also because, like, she uh, she joins, um, she, like, also because Lily Lo Lo kind of joins at, like, a really weird time because, um, like, 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 the enemies are still really, really strong, stronger than they usually are, and, um, like, you're also training, like, um, like, Roy because, uh, he needs to, like, seize the thrones and, like, he's, uh, <laughs> like, like, you, you can't always be carried by someone, so, like, having him being able to survive and nothing else is, uh, preferable. You're also training, like, Shauna, um, one of your two starting cap leaders. Here's Roy. I said done, Roy. Huh. But yeah, the, just like, you're trying, like, the enemies are really strong, you're trying to learn a lot of people by the time they join, so what I mean is a little bit more preferable. Ah. Because, like, like, by the time Lillian joins, you can already have both, um, your starting cab and Shauna promoted. Yeah. So, like, yeah, might. so like, at that point, they, at that point, they, they've kind of, like, gotten the, the, the staff and points they need to do, so they can just actually just do their jobs now. Heal. Oh wait, did she use Saffron Cup? Yes, she did. Cool. Nice. Okay. And lure you out. Ow. <laughs> yeah, no, I... Yeah, this is... You, you can say this game has... Two are in all you want. It feels like one at times. It, it, it really, really does. 